the goalkeeper of the season, the defender of the season, the midfielder of the season, and the forward of the season. All these men are vying for the top prize, and that's the player of the season. Welcome back to Jampiel Fun, and as I stated, we're here to crown the top player of the Jamaican Premier League 2023-2024 season. We're going to name this player from the, the batch of previous winners of each category of goalkeeper, defenders, midfielders, and forward to finally come to our answer. So let's get in it quickly and before we name the number one player, let's just give a refresher on what I have to say on all individual winners from each award. John Pierre's goalkeeper of the year, I am going to give it to Shaquan Davis. Alright, I know it seems like it's no surprise and it's a bit of a cop out as you know he is the reggae boy select but honestly if you saw his performances this year, it is well deserved. Forget about the clean sheets. You have to look at the fact that how well he managed his box as well as how well he did, especially in one-on-ones. He was definitely one of the keepers of this season. Some of his quick reflex saves were simply outstanding. And then when you add on to the fact that compared to all these other keepers, he's one of the best keepers with the ball on his feet and to start a play. So the overall package, Shaquan Davis definitely had the best season for a goalkeeper. 2023 to 2024 Jamaican Premier League defender of the season goes to Captain Fantastic Sule McCullough. Alright, so another more pleasant man of taking the title and honestly I will find it hard for anybody, even the players themselves on this list to argue against this choice. Sule McCullough was absolutely just immense in that back line and the fact that he had to play as an inverted a majority of the season and did it with such excellence to show the range of talent the player himself have. Even better, few will remember that Sule McCullough actually started his career in the Jamaican Premier League as a striker. So for him to transition so well into the back line and do so well on the defensive side to show what good work he had done this season. Of course, we have to mention that he was immense in, in a lot of victories for some more players as well. While this is about defending, you have to give him props as a fullback to score in seven goals as well. Especially when some of them were those key goals in the last minute to give more players in the victory. All in all, I'd be a hard pressed to say more players will find themselves where they did at the end of the season without their captain fantastic. So, and the winner this time is Denor Thomas. The man named Carl Inyan deserved his number one spot, I feel. Yes, the midfield pool this year wasn't necessarily the deepest, but Thomas, I felt, was still a touch above the rest. While you could argue that he wasn't the most consistent player for Walter this year, I also feel he was their best player during that stretch of games towards the end of the season that got them into the playoffs. And then when he is in the playoff, he was by far one of the most sparkling diamonds on the field. Even when he was asked to play a left wing, he was still a massive influencer and playmaker in that Waterhouse midfield. So, big up yourself to Nerd Thomas, you are our John Pierre's first midfielder of the season. And John Pierre's 2023-2024 Jamaican Premier League forward of the season goes to Javi and Brian. Alright, so I know it feels like a very easy answer given the fact that he did win the goal in boot. But to be very honest to you, this was a lengthy debate I had with myself as it was very close between Brian, Dunn and Parker Blocks. But in the end, I thought Javier and Brian deserved the nod. Yes, he may not have the best goal ratio compared to Fabian Reed, but if you actually paid close attention to the games that he had, he had played a lot of matches when he was basically the lone forward battling against a field at centre backs. He had a very rugged and tough time just to manage to eke out one and two goals. But it's just the fact that the way he leads that line for Waters after their impressive season that ultimately gives him this nod as the best forward for me. And Waters, I think we're going to have a hard time really replacing his productivity and effort up front come the new season. His players even earn him a contract overseas and again we wish him best of luck. But for now, we can say he left us as Jampiel's first forward of the season all right so there you have it as i said four nominees but let's get us some house cleaning before i file a name you know the window keep you all in suspense a little further 
I teamed up with the Jamaican Premier League themselves and they asked me to provide what I consider the, the best 11 for the season pass. And here on screen is what I consider the best players of last season. I know you have to give them a modern formation of a 4-3-3. Congratulations to every man that was named on this list. I consider you guys honestly the best players of last year really. Alright, one more host clean to do before I name my personal player of the season. I did pose the question to my community, both on Instagram and YouTube, who they believe out of these four men, or maybe somebody outside the top four, they believe to be the player of the season. After 100 votes, the people's choice for player of the season goes to Javain Bryan. Can't really argue with this one, not a bad choice. He won with 43% of the vote. Sue McCullough came second with 28%. Shaquan Davis came third with 14%. So congratulations, Shavian Bryant. According to the people, you are the player of the season. But now, let us get to why we are all here. To name John Pierce player of the season. So one final time, drum roll please. And John Pierce, 2023-2024 Jamaican Premier League player of the season goes to... Sule McCullough. So I went against the popular vote, but honestly, it was really close between McCullough and Brian for my decision. And while I cannot fault the people for choosing Javi and Brian, I would ask any of them to tell me in the comment section if they have seen any actual poor game or really a bad game that comes to mind when Sue McCullough was playing. That's just how almost near perfect he was this season. Not to say he was always the most outstanding player on the field, but he was never a player to put a foot wrong really. And that's from this really played multiple roles in a team that has started study as Paul Pleasant. And when you add all the other stats and accolades he piled up this season, I don't think anybody can really fault me for saying Sule McCullough is the player of the season. But that is last year. Again, congratulations to Sule McCullough. And we are finally over with this award. We are finally over and done and dusted with 2023-2024. It's all out of the way as we look forward to the brand new season and hopefully a lot more studying performances from the upcoming players. The season will officially kick off on September 15, 2024. So make sure you're there and we will have a preview for all the clubs leading up to that date. So stick around for Jumpier Fun. Otherwise, if you're new here and you like this video and want to see more, please like, subscribe and share. As I said to you, we keep you all up to date on everything in the off season leading up to September 15th. Otherwise, for the best Jamaican Premier League content, you're already at the right place. Jumpier Fun. YouTube, pick up yourself. Ball traveling inside at the back post. Still in play. And there's the equalizer from who else? But Sule McCullough! His